The Red Hot Ballroom program began 10 years ago in 2007 and we wanted to bring something to the elementary students because we didn't have any form of dance in elementary. It was a volunteer basis and the 10 campuses that participated loved the program and initially I was just going to have it at the elementary level. Thank you, elementary school couple. After the competition that we had at the event center, of course, it's very elegant and the kids looked very professional. The parents were asking, so what's going to happen in middle school? We love this program. My child wants to continue dancing. And so the next year we added middle and high school. Welcome all of you to the second annual Red Hot Ballroom Competition. Elementary, middle, and high school students will be competing here tonight. What we did is that it was a volunteer basis. At the elementary level, we, I sent an email to all of the principals. This is what I'm looking at doing. I want to start this program. And we tell them that you don't have to be a dancer. You don't have to be a certified dance teacher to do this. We can teach you how to dance and how to teach the students. And that was a big message to give to them because a lot of them were like, but I don't know how to dance. I'm a PE teacher. It's like, it doesn't matter. Do you like to dance? Yes, I like to dance. Okay, well, come and try it and you can see. And thank you to uh, Dr. Rendon and everyone who put this together because it's just a great opportunity for the It takes a lot of organization to put this competition together. And of course, the first year, it was just one level and it was easy compared to what we do now. This year, we had 35 campuses that participated in the program. Now we have three days of competition. We have elementary day, middle school, and high school. And the same day of high school in the evening is when we have the grand finals with everybody. Had no idea that we would be selling out the event center and not have enough space for parents and community members to come and see these students perform. I mean, I had no idea what we were creating, honestly. You know, ballroom dance is very professional. There's this etiquette that they learn. There's a way to ask a girl to dance. There's a way to take her on the dance floor. There's a way you exit the dance floor. All of that that they're taught, I mean, to me, I just think it's so awesome. And the music that they listen to, I mean, when would they ever have been listening to tango or waltz or foxtrot or even know, I mean, Frank Sinatra that we know. Well, now the kids know who that is. It was about three years ago, we started actually looking at the curriculum and we have dance in the curriculum, fine arts dance in the curriculum, so I thought, well, we could put this in there. The kids can get the credit they need, they can get fine arts credit and they can get PE credit. So that's been a big plus for them, for us to have incorporated it into the curriculum. For high school students in the summer, we take them to training for three days in the woodland, so they're getting just intensive ballroom training for three days. Two years ago, we started what we call a mini match, and that's in January. We usually do it because it's like starting the second semester. They get a feel of what it's gonna be like in May, and that's where they really are like, okay, we need to get it together because it's gonna be happening in a few months. Then we have one day in April that it's the practice ballroom competition, we call it, but the professionals come in and they work with our kids for two days and they start giving them tips. Okay, you need to work on frame. We're seeing your timing here. Be very careful, listen to the music. So they get all of that from the professionals when they come in. When they're competing in May, we have the venue, uh, the lights, you see the audience, you see the support, you see the kids. And for me to see them out there having such a good time, but dancing at such a level also, and to know, okay, we taught this. What you've seen with this program is that, how it's changed the lives of so many of our students, and it truly, truly does have an impact on our kids. I'm now a part of this community, this ballroom dancing community, and in the studio, when you work every day with the people around you, you just begin to feel comfortable and your partner is someone you can really count on. I, I get to meet people from different schools, from different areas, like the professionals that come down, they're from all over Texas. It has introduced me to a lot of new friends who I call now, like they're like my brothers now. And I feel like everyone in Barham is like one big family. They're all friends and ballroom what is what has brought them together. You are now part of this community and that's something so special that not everyone can say they're a part of. 
But every single time my professionals come back from training here in Brownsville, from coming to the comp, they are, they are on fire. They, they found their love again. And to be really honest, sometimes I don't know if my professionals help these kids here more or if these kids help my professionals more. We really feed off these kids here and it's a wonderful thing. So it helps us just as much as we help the kids. Having ballroom in, in a school uh, is just that one more activity that we have to offer to students. It just makes our students that much more well-rounded because if you can dance it's in your lifetime that it gives them that extra edge. What we always liked about here and uh, it's great that these kids are now coming also to outside of Brownsville events, it's the passion that lives in this community. You come here and you can feel the love, you can feel the passion, you can feel the music. It's, it's so much more, it's everything that dancing is. What it's done for the students is incredible. It teaches them how to work as a team because you're a couple. So if you're not pulling your weight, it's not gonna work. You have to work together as a couple. Because you're depending on someone else. There's a lot of teamwork involved. And without your partner, there's not much you can do. I don't just worry about myself. Like I have to make sure like he's doing the right steps too. And also like our togetherness is like when we dance, it's a big thing. So we need to look awesome together. I think it builds a really good partner bond uh, because they have to work together, they have to move together. Like they can't compete in the ballroom competition if they're not passing and we're not UIL sanctioned, but we're following UIL. The idea and the fact that they have a dance program like this in BISD is just absolutely incredible to me. So I know for these kids, what it does for them is it creates a safe atmosphere and it creates something that they can all grow and learn to be great people with. I wasn't very confident with myself, but once I learned how, like, how to dance and how to be confident with your steps, it kind of gave me like a little life lesson that you should, you should always be confident. Like, don't be afraid to take risks. This ballroom program has been an essential, life-changing program to me. It has helped me grow as a person physically, mentally, emotionally. I wasn't like open and I was really like shyish, but then as it got more, I didn't care what people said. It's just what something that I like to do. Having to dance with a partner, it would help me boost up my self-esteem to talk to other people and have a good time with other people. A lot of good things come from ballroom dancing without them knowing that they are learning this. That self-confidence that you develop, that passes over to academics and your real life. And all of the kids that are in ballroom score higher than students that aren't. So it shows you right there how it all works together. I definitely want to keep doing this for a very long time because it's just so much fun and I enjoy it so much. I don't, I don't want to ever stop. Because that's my dream. Once, when I graduate high school, I want to be able to work with Fred Astaire and become a professional. When it comes to ballroom, with all the confidence that it's given me and all these like, lessons that it's taught me, I really don't want to stop dancing now. Like, I want to pursue it as a career. It's the love that these kids bring to it that I have never really seen anywhere else in the country. And that is a wonderful thing. And we want this to be everywhere in this country because they need to see it. <laughs> The national director of Fred Astaire saw a video of our students during our Santa and Friends performance. We had a salsa number that was just all of the boys, and he was like, I want these kids to come and perform at this national competition. To be able to find out that another opportunity opens to be able to perform in front of professional dancers. It's the best of the best nationally. It's not a, a state competition. This is all over the world, you're going to have the best professional ballroom dancers competing. Those are the kinds of opportunities that, that are starting to happen because other people are seeing what we're doing here. And it's giving me opportunities like this to go to nationals and like perform for people. It's giving me more opportunities like that and it's something I really enjoy. Ballroom is such a great experience for these kids uh, that want to dance. You have boys, we have lots of boys now coming in to dance, so they're just gonna be that much better in their life and more experience for them to have as they grow up. That night when they enter that ballroom and they're literally on a ballroom floor competing it, it's their, their level of pride and their self-esteem, you can tell it in the way they walk. It's like they're competing 
at a level of that they've not seen before. The discipline is instilled because they love to do it. They want to come to practice. Competing is very hard because some of them will get cut, so you learn how to deal with failure in a positive way. I would encourage all my colleagues to take the chance because I've seen the growth. Every child should have an opportunity to try and experience it. I'm really glad that we have it in BISD. It's an amazing program. I think what BISD do, is doing with providing these fine arts programs to young students is a incredible tool that they're giving these children. Fine arts has proven to be a great thing for young minds. Dance has been part of my life forever. It's my passion. So I love having that opportunity to share passion like that with with all of the students in the district you know that are participating in it and that's one of the reasons why we also want to let people know about this program I mean to think 10 years is a long time and it's been in existence 10 years and we're only going to keep getting better and adding more and more as we grow because that's what is happening to this program and I would love for our kids to be able to compete against other school district students. And it has grown into such a big, big program that we now are at a point where I'm talking to our home company and um, I actually get to present this together with Dr. Rebecca in the rest of the nation because they have seen the kids now and everybody's interested because they're like, how, how are you doing this? The, these kids are so driven, well-mannered. It's They're right on point. I just think ballroom dancing has a lot to offer for these kids in the future. I hope we can showcase this everywhere in, in this nation and we can take BISD as an example because it's good for the students. It really, really is.